All right, um, I think you should have waited on opening that last chest until you defeated the Dream Thief. It says here that it increases in value the longer you hold on to it. You know what, Jonah? That would have been great to know. Ten minutes ago. Have you seen the size of this book, Becky? These sorts of things take a little while to find. Fine, fine, whatever. What does it say about the final orb? Where can we find that? Uh, let's see. Okay, um, I think we need to make our way north through the woods to the Great Field. And then from there, we need to backtrack to the East Corridor. And that should trigger some sort of event that allows us to find it. Or at least that's what it says here. Are you sure? That's what it says. And I mean, it's gotten us this far, so we might as well keep going. Okay, let's give it a shot. Same time tomorrow? That should give us about enough time to finish it. All right, see you then. Bye. Your world will soon be mine. <laughs> I need that book. Talking about their dreams. Some Silence. doors only have one key. most peculiar. Other shoe. Jonah, I thought you said the same time as yesterday. It's like nine in the morning. I don't care what time it is, this is important. I had the strangest dream last night. It was like endless deja vu. It was weird. That's great, Jonah, but what are you doing here so early and what's with the box? I don't know. I just found it out on your porch. Thought maybe the postman left it or something. Listen, have you noticed anything odd happening today? You mean like waking up and finding a shoe on your wall? Uh, yeah. Or like realizing that the leg on that chair is made out of a giant candy cane. Huh. Or that your family portrait replaced you with a picture of an old wizard. Hmm. Well, I figured something like this would happen eventually. Am I dreaming? No, it's not a dream. It's it's more like a... Is someone else here? Not that I know of. You've got to be kidding me. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I think your shoe collection 
may have gotten a little out of hand. I don't even know where these came from. Wait, what's this? If you ever want your drabby, boring life back, you'll need to find the three missing orbs I've stolen from you. If reunited and placed back on the pedestal, blah 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 blah, only then will your world return to normal. Signed, random symbol. Three orbs? What is this? I guess it makes sense. I won't be able to get back asleep and return everything to normal until I get this whole light situation figured out. It does look cooler now though. I'll give it that. Okay, so three orbs. How are we supposed to find them? Probably the way that we always find these sorts of things. The Compendium! Okay, um, let's see. This looks exactly the same to me. Well, what about the box? Do you have any idea what's in it? No, I just thought it was something you ordered. I haven't ordered anything. Huh. What do you think this is for? I'm guessing something happens when you put it on? Like, you turn invisible? Doubt it. Well, this is the lamest ring I have ever seen. I wonder what's in the chest. Hang on, remember what you said about the chest increasing in value the longer you hold on to it? Well, what if this chest is like that one? You mean like in the game? But in real life? That's absurd. Come on, you said it yourself last night. At least I think it was last night. What in the? I'm guessing that the ring works as some sort of portal between our world and whatever's in there. In there? You mean like in the book? Would you stop questioning everything I say? Yes, in the book. Okay, um, well, I'll get the chest. Okay, grab my hand. Huh? Listen, I think it works via human contact, so when the ring gets put on, whatever the person is touching goes through with it. And since only one of us can put on the ring, and I don't think you want to stay here. Um... No thanks. Wonderful. Let's go. Where are we? When are we? And more importantly, what are you wearing? It must be part of our cover. Quick, let's sit down before we stick out too much. So, you see any orbs sitting around? I doubt it'll be that easy. Are you kidding? The first objective is always easy. Not always. Yes, it is. Unless, of course, it's an escort mission. Those are the worst. Can you be serious for two seconds? How can I, when I look like I belong in a Dick Tracy movie or something? Shh, you'll blow our cover. Oh, I'm sorry, we have a cover? I must have missed the mission synopsis. Please press B to repeat. What are we covering from again, anyway? Come on, Jonah, don't be a square. Hand me the compendium. is so unpredictable. It's just full of old detective stories now. You must be missing something. Uh, Becky? I think I found it. What? Over there, by the bar. That's the... That's the guy from my dream, the... Dream thief? Okay, well, he's got the orb, so... What's the plan, Ace? He and I are going to have a little chat. But what about our cover? Why do I even bother sometimes? Listen up, Dream Wad. Now, now. Temper, temper. Pull up a chair. Have a drink. I was beginning to think you had gotten yourself lost. Well, what if I say no? To which part? To either part. 
Well, either way, I suppose. But then, uh, this will belong to me. Forever. Well, what do you want? The book. The compendium. What importance is that to you? It's the key to my freedom. Simple-minded simpletons simply wouldn't understand. No way we're trading the book for the orb. How are we gonna get home, then? Sounds like a personal problem. I don't trust him. Look, you're both new with this. So, it'll be nice and I'll make a deal. I have two coins here. One black, one white. I'll let you make a choice. You pull one out. And if you pull out the white one, the orb is yours, and I disappear. And if we pull out the black one? <laughs> then the compendium is mine. And you stay in this inconsequential world forever. The choice is yours. It's only forever. Not long at all. Well, what if we refuse? Hmm. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Let's talk about it. What are we doing? This is the most obvious trick in the history of trickiness. Even I can see that. Great deduction, Sherlock. Obviously it's a trick. But what choice do we have? We risk it, we lose, we stay here. We don't risk it, we don't lose, but we still stay here. We could wait it out. We'll have plenty of time to wait it out if we lose. Besides, I've got an idea. We'll do it. Most excellent. Remember, white means you win, black, I win. Bumbling bumbler. Oh, wait, now, hang on. Just look inside the bag and whatever coin is left, you'll know that she pulled out the opposite one. That's a magical idea, Jonah. Great thinking. It appears I pulled out the white one. I win. You think you're so clever. Oh, now I'm clever? I thought I was a simple-minded simpleton. My oh my, such an attitude. Listen here, Dreamweaver. Two can play at that game. <clears throat> Three? Three can play at that game. Very well. Don't try to follow me. Next time, I won't be playing nice. With everything under control. It would be nice to know your plan ahead of time next time so that you don't give me a heart attack. Besides, don't forget who it was that found the orb in the first place. Oh, looks like the ring's doing its thing again. I'll get the book. Now where are we? I'd guess it's some sort of waiting room. Why do I feel like we're in an episode of Pokemon or something? I bet you there's an orb around here. Hand me the glasses. Okay. Everything looks normal. Well, maybe the glasses only work in a certain dimension. Well, that's just wonderful. How are we supposed to find the orb? Becky Wanstead, Jonah Tate, Mr. Somniatus will see you now. Who?
I warned you about trying to follow me. Hey, give us back our book. <laughs> you practically waltzed right in here and handed it to me. Well, hand over the orb, Dreamcast. And why would I do that? I told you I wouldn't be playing nice if we met again. Look, there are far bigger things at play, and I just don't have time for this nonsense. But I do hope that you'll stick around. Dimensional. The book. You got it back. Not just the book. I also found this. And where did you get this sword? Oh, I just Mary popping it out of the bag. Huh. Looks like it's time to go again. So, any idea as to where or when we are exactly? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh look, there's the random green symbol on the ground again. For the third time. I think we're lost. I think you're right. <sighs> Maybe this is all just some bad dream. And when we game over here, I'll wake up back at home. But what if it isn't a bad dream? Well then at least I'll get to stop wandering through this forsaken forest. Well, look on the bright side. I just found my other shoe. Although how it got out here, I will never know. I wasn't even aware it was missing. Well it was. That's nice. Are you saying that shoes aren't important? Not exactly. Well what are you saying then? I'm saying that if this is a dream, is it your dream or mine? These shoes did not come cheap. At first, I thought it was your dream, because we found the note at your house. But then, 
There's that whole deja vu thing. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, I tend to tune out when people start talking about their shoes. Well, I tend to tune out when people start talking about their dreams. <coughs> I just wish there was some sort of guidebook with the etiquette on when to talk and when not to talk about certain things. Guidebook. Guidebook. That's it! It is? Remember what you said about the third and final orb? Yeah? Wait, no. The book said we had to head north until we hit the Great Field and then go to the East Corridor. I said that? <laughs> Sometimes I impress even myself. Technically the book said it, you just read it. <sighs> that book is like the deus ex machina of all our problems. No wonder Dr. Dreamspunk wants it. It's like the lazy man's guide to everything. Well, I am tired of being lazy. Let's go. Oh. <clears throat> I want to get up. I really do, but I'm pretty sure my health bar is really low. Well, then this should help. What is this, and what am I supposed to do with it? Eat it? I don't know, just sort of gives you health. So, any idea which way's north? Well, in our world, it's that way. So, in this one, we should go that way. Your guess is as good as mine. Somewhere around here. Are you sure I said East Corridor, not West Corridor? I do sometimes get those mixed up. No, I'm pretty certain you said East. Well, wasn't something supposed to happen when we got here? Yeah, there should be something. Oh, look, up there. Well, what are we supposed to do with that? I think we're supposed to hit it with an arrow or something. I can't shoot that. Not with that attitude, you can't. I've never even shot a bow before. It's fine. You probably have enough XP stored up from earlier that you can hit just about anything now. Great. A pointless door. It's not a door. It's a portal. A portal? A portal to where? A portal to home. It's locked. So how are we supposed to get through? The chest. Jonah, hand me the chest. It's time to open the chest, I see. Eureka. normal. We can go home. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, what about the third orb? Well, well, well. Look, we've finally pieced it all together. <laughs> what do you want, dream boat? Oh, gosh. I mean, a uh, dream uh, base. It's okay. Shake it off. Long have I searched for a permanent portal to your world. As long as time has existed. Now it seems as though my efforts have not been fruitless. What do you want with our world? It seems kind of boring to me. Silence, you simple-minded simpleton. I no longer have any need for you. It's that key that I really want. Give me the key. Never! Then I will have to take it by force! I'm the one who takes the box to her house. Is 
seems your pathetic friend has abandoned you. Jonah? Where's the key? Where is it? Tell me where it is! Go back! Well, where is it? It's right there. You alright? Yeah, I guess so. Where did you come from? Well, all this time I've been wondering why you would have gotten that package with all the helpful stuff in it. And as I was lying in the grass over there, I discovered a familiar box, which I realized I sent to you from the future into the past. You figured that all out? You underestimate my cleverness. And Back to the Future was on all last week. So how did you do it? Okay, so here's how it all went down. After jumping through that door and <laughs> narrowly avoiding seeing my past self leaving your house, I left the box on your front porch for you, well, I, I mean me, to find the next morning. Wait, so we're here because of a box you put on my porch that you knew to put there because of what you saw when you were here? Yeah, don't think about it too hard. It's all part of the wobbly, hobbly, dreamy, seamy stuff. Okay, well then how did you get back here? Well, I knew I would have to get back to this world to help you. I knew the only way I was going to be able to get back to you was to tag along with you and the other me through the adventure all over again. Hold on, what? Yeah, I may have spent the whole night in your bushes. And when I woke up the next morning, I snuck into your bedroom window. Is someone else here? Not that I know of. Then, when you and the other me went through the portals, I would follow right after. Like a... like an interdimensional time lord. Yeah. Anyways, I just had to try and blend in, you know, not get noticed. Well, I did find ways to help out, like with the box, and the sword, and the box. Huh, I guess that's it. Well, regardless, I stealthily hid in the bushes and waited for the perfect moment when I could deliver the fatal blow. Wow, that's a lot of work just to sneak up behind someone. Yeah, I'm like a time ninja. Okay, don't get cocky, kid. But what about the third orb? Alright, in order to set everything right, you need to go back through that door, place all three orbs on the pedestal, and probably burn the gate, just to be safe. Okay, but won't you be coming with me? Uh, no. I already doubled myself once, and I do not want to do that again. Unless, of course, you're looking to fill your Smash Bros. League. Uh, no. I think one of you is fine. But won't you be stuck here? No. Once you fix everything, that door in this world will disappear, and this Jonah will never have existed. Okay. Well, you've really thought everything through. No loose ends? No way. Airtight. Well, see you in reality, I guess. Jonah, we made it! Uh... What are you doing over there? I'm so glad we made it back! Okay. Uh, are we still on to play the game tomorrow? Um, well, I was thinking maybe we could take a break from that game for a little while. Uh, we could play the new Smash Bros. Four player? Four? Two! I meant two. Yeah, sure. I mean, I've been wanting to play that game. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay. Guess that about does it.
got to be kidding me. Jonah! Yeah, no problem. I, I figured it probably gets a little bit crowded with both y'all living in the same house. Oh, and since Becca didn't get to come to the wedding, I wanted to introduce her to Penny. True, and you can only play so much Smash Bros with yourself. Oh, hey, sorry about your head. I didn't mean to make you faint. I'm okay, thanks for asking. So, can you explain again how you guys look like, but you're not twins? Well, you see, after we defeated the Dream Thief, Becky, Jonah, other Becky. I finally found you. You have to go back. We need your help. <laughs> <laughs>